Welcome to Level Up Design and in today's video we are going to be going over how you can make a castle using the RPG Maker MV RTP. That's the runtime package, the graphics that come with the engine. So let's jump right into it. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials and just general discussion about RPG Maker then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Firstly we're just going to be creating a new map, I'm going to make this one 50 by 50 and we're just going to change the tile set to outside. Now I'm going to zoom right out, click over to the A tab and I'm just going to fill everything in the middle here with grass, grass, everything grass. Now first thing we want to do is create a gate. So we're going to come over to the C tab, scroll all the way to the bottom, and grab this tower here. I'm just going to click that in and then one, two, three away. So there's three gaps in the middle, one, two, three, a space of three, a three of space. Then we're going to grab the tower again and just place it over the top of it like this. After that, we're just going to grab this top part here and make some spires. Now we've got that, we're going to make it centre. This gate's pretty much already centre. So next thing we want to do is give our castle a wall. So I'm just going to quickly go around the exterior. Alright, and that's the outline for our wall. We're just going to make it two. And what we need to do is take advantage of RPG Maker MV's layering system and just put these two tower pieces back where they belong. You want to jump back over to the A tile and just grab this castle looking wall here. And we're going to take this all the way around the exterior and interior of the castle design. Alright, once we've done that we're going to make this castle on the edge of a cliff. So what we're going to do is go over to the A tile still, scroll all the way down and we're just going to create a precipice for a cliff face over here. Then what we're going to do is also on the A tab you want to click this little transparent tile. We're just going to fill the very top of the map in like that. Then we're going to hit spacebar and right down here where it says image we're just going to look for a nice set of mountains in the background. And we're going to make sure that shows in the editor and see how that shows up. And it doesn't look the best so we'll choose a different one. Let's choose a sunset sky. There we go, that's looking much better. Now we just want to grab a cobblestone looking tile, so we'll do that and we'll make a pathway just right up the centre here. From here we're going to start building the castle exterior. So we're going to grab the castle wall again, we're going to go 5 across, 3 up, and then if we click on over to the C tab we're just going to grab this blue roof here, make the fronts, the corners, and just run that a few tiles up along the side. Now we're going to turn the roof and keep going horizontally. We're going to copy that front entrance wall here and copy and paste it either side. And then just copy the corner tiles and bring this wall down three. Then we're going to grab this side roof, take it up a few. And right here where this roof is, what we're going to do is go back over to the A tile, take a brick cobblestone effect and just run this across the roof. From here we're going to take the castle wall again and we're going to run it up four and all the way across. Right where it indents here we're going to indent as well and run some roofing around the whole top of that level. Once again we're going to run some floor along here. Place another castle wall four high, again running a roof around the exterior. And then finally grabbing this top of the wall tile and finishing off the very top. Now what we want to do is just finish running the wall tiles along the bottom and we'll just add some doors on each layer. One here, one here and here, one again in the middle here. Now what we want to do, and if you watched my RPG Maker MZ video you'll know exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to put towers, towers everywhere. Next what we're going to do is add all of the castle windows. So go back over to the B tab, you can use whichever window you feel works for you. I'm just going to use these ones here. Then once we've done the windows we're just going to add a bit of extra details to the roof. So click back over to the C tile and we're just going to grab this one here. I'm going to put this at the centre of everything. 
and there we have the basic shape of our castle. You can go in and add some details, like adding some barrels on the roof. Now to finish off the main building, we're just going to add some castle flags. So punch on all the way over to the C tab, and it's always good to have a contrasting colour. So while we have blue roofs and red towers, we're also going to have red flags. So I spent some time putting up some red flags around the castle. And once you've done that, you've essentially got your main castle area done. Next what we're going to do is work on the courtyard. So what I'm going to do is go over to the A tab, grab the water feature, and just run a nice little stream along here. And then encircle it with the path. After I do that, I'm just going to cut right through the center of it. Make some extra water features here. And then what I'm going to do is go over to the C tab and place two statues. So I'll place this little angel here, and this little angel over here. Right in the center, I'm just going to place the statue of some heroic knight. I'll just fill that in with a bit of detail, adding maybe a few water lilies. And then what I'll do is extend this path all the way out to the side, almost touching the wall but not quite, and then I'm just going to run a path all the way up to the very top. And I'll do the exact same thing over here, grab this water feature again, I'm going to go up, I'll just copy this and paste it over to the other side, and then we'll just grab some bushes from the B tab and fill that in. Then right at the gate here, I'm just going to add some stairs. And really, you can do whatever you want with the rest of this green ground. I'm just going to turn this entire area into a sort of cliffy forest. Alright, now to add the final touches to your castle, you just need to add a few NPCs. Some great NPCs to add are some guards, some castle workers wandering around, a prince and a princess roaming around, a little kid running around, and finally the king and queen. Now all we have to do is jump on into game and test it out. But before we jump on into the game, the king has a request. If you like this video, then please, I beg of you, subscribe to Level Up Design and give this video a thumbs up. Welcome to Great Hill Castle. One day I'll be king. I could rule this kingdom better than my brother. I'll make father see that. I work for Her Majesty the Queen. If you like this video, then please, I beg of you, subscribe to Level Up Design and give this video a thumbs up. You heard the king, guys. Make sure you scroll down and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video. And if you've had experience with lots of different RPG Maker RTPs, runtime packages, then let me know down in the comments which is your favourite uh, runtime package. What's your favourite RPG Maker with default assets? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video.